Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this QNAP 2.5 gigabit single port network expansion card for a QNAP NAS. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So here's the model number on this. This will also be in the description if you want to read that. The NAS I'm installing it in is the TS453BE. So this will probably work in a lot of other QNAP products. So the installation might be a little bit different. So let's first take a look at it. Okay, so here's the card. Now there should be an adapter in the bottom here. There are a couple and some screws. So here's the package contents. We have the card and it has the low profile bracket installed on it, but there's also a full height bracket and a low profile flat bracket. That's the one we'll use. So it has some generic instructions in here. So I'm gonna crack this thing open. Can't remember if this front plate needs to come off, but I'll take it off anyway. I'll turn it around to the back and then I will turn it up on its side and I have three screws here. So I'll get the screws out of my screw kit. So that'll be a number two screwdriver I need. So I'll get that bit and I'll remove these screws. I'll pull this back and it will slide off like so. Then we have a screw on the back here to take this plate out. And here we can see the PCI port there so first i'll get the adapter plate out so this is the full plate and this is the shorter one that will fit in here i'll get the card out now if you have lots of static you might want some grounding equipment i'm just occasionally touching this plate and i'm touching this so these are grounded to the same potential so i need to take these two screws out here i think this screwdriver is too big yes number one phillips seems to be the right size so i'll unscrew these and i want to keep these screws nearby so I'm going to mount this plate in a similar orientation. So it was sitting under the board and you can see this lines up here. So it's actually kind of hard to get wrong. Then I'll put those same screws back in. I'm going to have them loose till they're both in, then I'll tighten them down. Okay, and here's a little close up of the board if anyone's interested. Okay, so now I'm going to install this in here. I'm going to tilt it in at an angle. I'll slide it in. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. Okay, so you can see the contacts here are going to go in the second part of this slot. So that's seated pretty easily. Now I'll put this front screw in. Oops, need the number two screwdriver there. Okay, so that's good to go. Now I'll slide this back on. So it's probably about a quarter inch from the back here. And then I slide it forward. And now I can put these screws back. You want to be careful not to cross thread these. If you have trouble, you can always turn them backwards until it clicks. And then once it clicks, go forward. That way you know you're in the thread. Although these seem to go in pretty easily. So that's it. So you can still use these old ports, the gigabit ports, but now we have a 2.5 gigabit port. So you can plug your network cable in there and then you can go into the interface and configure the IP address or whatever. So I'll insert a quick clip of doing that. Okay, so I'm logged into the QNAP NAS. I'll go to the control panel. I'll go to network and virtual switch. And here we can see the adapter is connected. So this has a separate IP address from the main IP address. So this can get a little tricky here. If you have a static IP, you could change this so the static IP is on the new network interface. I'm actually going to go to that IP address in my address bar. It should have me log in again. I'll go back to control panel and network. Now I'm going to unplug the old interface. Let's see if we can still access this. Okay, so that looks good. So it says gateway on this. I'm not 100% sure how to, okay, it just switched. So now the gateway is on the new interface. Okay, so this is all configured now. So once this is configured, we can do a speed test on it. Okay, so I have a PC here, and this PC actually has that same network card in it. So the QNAP NAS and this PC have the 2.5 gigabit ethernet cards in them. So I put the larger slot in it here for the PC, and this card is just an Intel chip. So it worked with the PC with the Intel driver installed. So these are both connected to a 2.5 gigabit switch. It's the Ingenious ECS2512, and that was provided to me by Ingenious for a previous video, but they have no association with this video. Now on the QNAP, I have open speed test installed. So I'll run a speed test.
Okay, so there we go. So we got about the same speed for the download and the upload. We got 2464 download, 2471 upload. So even though this is a 2.5 gigabit card, you would typically not see 2500 there. But getting this close is ideal, so that's a good sign. So the 2400 megabits per second would translate to roughly around 300 megabytes per second. So to actually achieve those speeds, you also need to have hard drives or SSDs or cached software that is going to run at that speed. But this isolates the network and shows what it is capable of. So that's the QNAP 2.5 gigabit network expansion card. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.